to my newest plan with me. This is a Sadie Stickers mystery kit, and it is the August mystery. Sit back as I lay down the base of the spread, and then I will come back during the day to day and do a talk through of what was going on. I hope you enjoy it.
Okay, so we're back with the day to day. Now, first things first, my nails. <sighs> That's the thing about filming videos because you have to keep your nails, like you, well, you don't have to, but you know, you at least want them to be decent. And that was my intention. However, I couldn't find the right supplies that I needed. They, I couldn't find them in the house. They were hiding. Um, and so we didn't get it finished the way that I wanted it to look. So please just, you know, excuse that. <laughs> okay. That's the first thing. <laughs> um, second thing is I'm really not sure what I'm going to talk about in this uh, voiceover. So if it's like all over the place, just forgive me. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So anyway, this is a week in October, uh, second week of October. And I have several spreads that I've done since then. It's just that I was, I knew I had filmed the base of this. And so I wanted to make sure that I filmed the rest of it so that I could at least get a plan with me up. Like I said, I was going to do. So, um, this was the week of Columbus Day, better known as Indigenous Peoples Day. And when I went to plan this, I realized that I didn't actually have, um, I don't have any holidays in the, what is that, the academic or typewriter font. So I need to pick those up since this is Black Friday. I need to pick those up from Paper Trail Plans that needs to go on my list um but that was monday i was off monday and my husband got tickets to the atlanta braves game um it was a, one of the playoff games and i'm so sad that they they won that game but um they were eliminated from uh the series so sad about that go braves um so that's basically pretty much all like Monday was like a really chill day um this was one of my off days so I you know did some planning um and then we went to the game and it was still fairly warm um around this time in October like the Georgia weather like I said it's been all over the place but it was still fairly warm which is why I went ahead and used this kit because when I first got this kit I was just kind of thrown off I was like okay it's August mystery but I know like her mysteries usually are for a few months ahead so I'm like okay is this like giving fall but then it has butterflies and I'm like that kind of throws me off too but you know what I said I don't care I'm trying to let go of these preconceived notions that I can't do certain things or use certain stickers because of whatever I have made a rule like I've made up in my head so I'm trying to let go of that because I do tend to do that um I won't use things because of certain rules like that I have made up and I know it probably makes no sense at all but I mean it, it just is like I tend to with my stickers I'm very conservative with my stickers so I will limit myself to using like maybe three types of the same sticker in a spread so that I don't use all of my stickers, you know, up very quickly and then have to purchase more. Uh, that, I guess, is my way of like trying to conserve money on stickers because stickers are wonderful, but uh, with everything going up in society... You know, you do have to be a little bit more frugal, or at least I have to be a little bit more frugal. So anyway, Tuesday was a um, teacher work day, so I had taken that day off, and you know, a day off for the kids. I tried to, I was like, what can I do with her so that, you know, we're not just stuck in the house. So I took her to um, our local um, bouncy house. And so we, I think that's the longest that we've ever spent at the bouncy house. We were there for probably close to about four hours. And when I tell you my daughter ran and jumped the whole entire time, she did. Um, so needless to say, when it was time to go, 
she fell asleep in the car coming back home, which that was like, that was the point. That was the point. But afterwards, um, we did stop at the library. Uh, I tried to make it, um, I won't say a weekly thing, but at least a bi-weekly thing where we go to the library, get books, um, because she can check out books from her school, but I think there's a limit to how many they can check out. And then I'm not sure. I know last year there was like some kind of confusion. They didn't really want the kindergartners checking out books. I'm not really sure what's going on this year for first grade, but it's just easier for me to kind of make sure that she's actually getting quality material that she can read for us to go to our local library. So that's something we do. So I usually get her some books and then I get myself um, books, a book to read as well. And then Wednesday was my monthly wax appointment. And I try to stay on schedule because that reduces the pain that it causes. If you get um, like bikini waxes and you know what I'm talking about, if you go longer than you know that four to five weeks it's painful it's almost like you're starting over so anyway I got my wax and then I don't know like I've been having these random days um where I just like usually as far as sleep like time I lay my head down I am falling to sleep I, like I, it doesn't take anything for me to go to sleep but this night I could not get to sleep and I think when I finally did fall off to sleep I ended up waking back up and it was <laughs> like difficult for me to go back to sleep so it was just a really awful night of sleep and I don't even know I want to say I went to bed like at two in the morning and then I get up at six so i didn't have much sleep at all because I was going into work the next day. So, you know, you can probably imagine how that day of work went. <laughs> um, but, I, and I really don't know what caused it either. Like I do try to make sure that like I don't drink, um, like I, if I'm going to drink coffee, I only drink it in the morning. Um, anything, any coffee after like 12 PM, um, it'll keep me up so I try not to do coffee um after 12 and I, I just really don't know what it was like if I'm usually if I can't go to sleep then it's because like something's bothering me on my mind and in this case it really wasn't I couldn't I couldn't identify anything that was actually bothering me but I don't know it just it was a really bad night of sleep so then Thursday um back to work for my work schedule Thursday Friday Saturday so I really love um the journaling page that says well Alicia from Sadie Stickers makes with her journaling kit um a lot of times I will purchase that page um if I can if it like if the florals match like an older kit or even if they're kind of similar, um, and I have older kids that, you know, didn't have all of those extras, I will go to, um, the Sadie Stickers website and I will just search through her deco, um, her journaling pages to see if I can make anything work because that journaling page, those boxes, it's like everything that you would want in a journaling page. All the boxes I love. Um, I think the only ones that I'm not really a fan of, and that's just me, are the arches. I don't tend to use arches at all. I'm just not a fan of arches. I don't know why, but I, I'm just not. And I'm getting better with using these ovals. Ovals weren't my favorite either, but I'm getting better with the ovals. But arches... I, you rarely, you very rarely will see me use an arch. It's very, very rare. I don't know why I just don't like that shape. <laughs> like, and it's not that it's not pretty, like arches in real life, you know, are gorgeous, but I just don't, in my planner, 
I think it's that it takes up so much room vertically and then there's all this space on both sides and I don't like that. Um, I don't, I can't really tell you why I don't like it, but I don't like it. So <laughs> yeah, just, uh. but anyway, Friday I had a security training to do. Um, they, the hospital gave us these little panic buttons basically that attach to our badges. And so, um, if we are in need of help from security, then we just tap the bat, tap the button and it gives them our exact location inside the hospital for them to come and help you. So I had to go through a training for that. And then I got, oh my goodness, I got my last piece of happy mail from two little bees that I will ever get, I guess, until, until she decides to reopen. Cause I'm, I'm going to pray that she's going to reopen, please. <laughs> it's crazy because I started planning, um, like 2019, the end of 2019. Um, and it's amazing how in the, these short years, how many people and how many shops have come and go. Because there's been like so many people who were in the planning community originally, like making videos, you know, like active. And now like you don't see them anymore. And it's just crazy. You know, I, I hope everyone, you know, is doing well. Same for the shops, you know, they um, opened up and, you know, you don't really hear from them too much anymore. Um, but I really do hope they're all doing well. But I do think that's, you know, crazy, like now so much has changed and I do feel like now and maybe it's just me but I feel like there are less um there's less shops I guess tell me what you tell me how you feel do you feel like it's less shops now or about the same or even if it's more I don't know I just feel like that and then Friday I had to pick up some medicine for my daughter because she was starting to get um a cold which now that I look at this, this is crazy. She still has that same cold. She literally, st we're still dealing with this right now. I did not realize this. This is, this is a whole month. I thought it was really two weeks, but it's been a whole month. Oh my goodness. <sighs> we just went to the doctor this week. Not like they actually did anything, but we did go see the doctor. Um, and then on Saturday, um... Another 12 hour shift, of course, and I just did some, we had some yearly online training that we had to do. So I completed that because Saturdays is a slower day for me. Um, it's not usually as much to do on Saturdays, so I can get things done, you know, that without someone stopping me all the time. So I did the training and then I also worked on my monthly financial budget because I have been trying to do better about that. I downloaded the uh, Every Dollar app on my phone and because I was really going back and forth about if I was going to do like paper budgeting, um, if I was going to get like a planner and all that kind of stuff. And I thought I was like, well, Chanel, that that's more money. <laughs> Even though I did have to pay for the app because I wanted the special features. But the reason why I said that I would go with the app was because the app, um, it pulls directly, it pulls information directly from my bank account. And so it can, like, it puts my purchases and everything in there. So I don't have to manually do that. So that takes some of the work out of it for me. Um, so I was doing that, working on um, the budget, making sure that I am trying to stay within um, my parameters that I've given myself. <sighs> you know, that's a, that is a all day, every day work of art there. Not work of art, but you know, you're always working on it. Um, and I guess here, yeah, I'm still working on the online training. I put a couple of these, uh, I don't even know, like the third 
third and fourth boxes, the you know, the ones that go all the way across um, the column. And I don't know why I feel so odd about putting the icon inside it. I guess I'm so used to like these midi boxes where you kind of just put it on the edge that it just felt so odd for me to put the icon inside of the box. And I'm sorry that right here you guys can't see what I'm doing, but this is on Sunday. Um, I washed my hair, styled it because Sunday is my off day. Um, I get every Sunday off. So if I do need to, you know, spruce up before it, the next couple of days at work, then that's going to be my day that I do it. So had coffee, um, which is a every day ritual, but I just marked it here. And then Sunday we had taco night, which was very good. And so that's pretty much about it for this plan with me. Um, I really love the way this spray came out. I was very um, proud of myself for, you know, uh, my sidebar. I was really in love with my sidebar. It's so cute. Um, I love the way that it came out. And I really tried to um, incorporate, you know, a little, a kind of different pieces of all of the deco that was in there. And I actually still have, that's one of the things like about this spread is I have enough to do another spread. And I was debating on if I was going to do that this year, like to kind of showcase like how you can get two spreads out of one. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I, um, November is basically almost over and I really wouldn't have anywhere else to use it. So I will just save all of that for next year and it will be we'll, you'll see it next year so here's the spread once again just for you to look over it all i hope you enjoyed this plan with me and i hope that you will be back for another one thank you for all of your support <music>